just a thought, Evander. Just uh, you guys liked your game on Saturday. You didn't get the result you want, but you, can you build off that going into the road? Yeah, I'd say we like parts of our game. Um, I thought we did. I don't know if we could have done any worse, but we did a lot better than we did the, the night before um, against those guys. So, uh, but at the end of the day, we we have to. We gotta not expect to score five or six goals every game to win. Um, we have to limit goals against and, and be a little bit tartar uh, in certain areas. Generated a lot of chances. It's just a matter of trying to bury some of those. Or yeah, and you know, I, I know we had 40 shots or whatever it said, but I, I really think we could add more. Um, and there's we, we spend a lot of time, I think, on the outside. I think we have to really start to penetrate uh, the middle of the ice, especially in the ozone, and get pucks there to create some more great ice scoring opportunities. When you if you end up on the line with you, David and Drysaddle, like you practice today, what, what parts of your game do you kind of need to make sure you have rolling when you're when you're skating with those two guys? I mean, I've played with them together uh, the last couple of seasons, and we seem to uh, all work well together and, and know how each other's play. And um, you know, I think we can hopefully generate some some more opportunities off the rush. We haven't had too many odd man rushes uh, for um, in these first couple of games, so hopefully, come over his own clean, come through the neutral clean, create some stuff off the rush, and. And obviously, when we get into their uh, the other team's end, um, just being hard around the net and uh, getting open for those guys. Uh, Vander, outside noise is outside noise. How are you guys handling the the own two start within the group? I know it's just. I know games. we're we're dead last in the league, <laughs> thirty two, <laughs> sky's falling. That's <laughs> uh, no, I know there's, I know I've trust me, I, I see it. I've been out around town and and uh, but I think you know again we're two games into that season. Um, you know, we got a zero winning percentage. We could be 500, uh, you know, in the next two games. Who knows? But, uh, you know, our focus is on tomorrow night to uh, getting our first one of the season, getting a good feeling back in the room and um, moving on, hopefully, to Philly. Are you getting more support from fans or advice? Oh, no, no, no. I, I mean, we're only, we're only two games in here. <laughs> <laughs> so not looking ahead to next year yet? No. Sorry? Not looking ahead to next year yet? <laughs> no. no. Is no. that just the market, right? Like, if things have gone well, they're finding great, or if things go badly... Yeah, I mean, we, we understand um, the expectations, uh, the excitement, um, and, and obviously the desire to win in this city, and, and we all feel the exact same way. Um, and I think uh, the community, the fans, uh, understand that, that we as players feel that exact same way, if not more, and uh, you know want to put our best foot forward. It's not going to be perfect every night. Um, it hasn't been perfect these first two games, but uh, we look forward to getting better as the season goes on. Some players don't like that fishbowl. Other, others, <coughs> they embrace it. They think it's good for keeps everybody sharp, keeps everybody interested. What's your, what's your fishbowl? I love playing Edmonton. So um, I played in a fishbowl. I wouldn't consider Edmonton a fishbowl, but uh, um, it's definitely a passion hockey market. And it's fun to play for. And Matthias Ekholm kind of in the same boat. He came here from somewhere else and very quickly sort of uh, embraced the community. And, and yeah, I mean, as a hockey player, um, you want to have that pressure. You want to have uh, that type of fan base that backs you and, 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 and those, that desire uh, to win, not just within our own team, but within the community. I think it just drives you as a player and as a group um, to be your best every single day. Um, and, and we embrace that for sure.